I guess this is how it just moves on forward since Joss Whedon doesn't want to comment. They'll just have other people that have worked very closely with him call him out on all the things he's done and how he's acted around them. So let's talk about how he's a egomaniac. And I swear to God, I actually said this in one of my recent Joss Whedon videos saying that his ego is probably super inflated. So the whole Joss Whedon story just keeps getting uh, more and more layers on it. It's like one of those delicious cakes where at first you look at it, you're like, oh, okay, then you know, that top layer is pretty good. But then you start looking at the next layers, you're like, oh my God, you got peanut butter under there? And then they're like, well, no, we got Kit Kats also. You're like, oh man, I love Kit Kats. And they're like, and there's peanut butter under that. Oh man, I love Kit Kats and peanut butter. And then they're like, oh man, there's also Oreos. And you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna die from this. I don't really know how that relates to Joss Whedon, but I was eating some delicious cake earlier. Anyways, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer stunt coordinator, Jeff Purit, and one of the stunt doubles, Sophie Crawford, have come forward with new allegations to sling on over at Mr. Whedon. So first he says that originally, there was a great relationship between everybody involved with Buffy. But as the show got off the ground, as it got sort of, uh, you know, into that zeitgeist where everybody was talking about it during the time where Buffy just exploded into popularity and it sort of spawned this wave of almost wannabe copycats that this is when Joss just changed. And he changed from being the person that they knew to somebody that was egotistic and egomaniacal. And then they also add a few more things. So here's a direct quote, and I'll read this thing in its entirety. We had a great relationship, Joss and I, but he changed as the show took off. He went from the humble writer who used to turn to me for ways to shoot fight scenes into a real egomaniac who believes his own hype. Sophie and I kept going for as long as we could, but tensions grew and certain members of the crew began to plot against each other, including shady things directed at me behind my back. Although we loved making the show, by season 4, I'd become fed up and told them that I was going to leave to direct second unit on another series. The producers told me that Joss reacted as if I was having an affair or something behind his back. And then Sophie Crawford, who was the stunt double for Sarah Michelle Gellar, said that she wanted to come back. She was offered to come back for the fifth season, but under one condition. She had to break up with Purit because Joss was not having any of that. So this matches up with some other things we've heard, including things like what happened with Angel, Chris McCarpenter, where, um, you know, life things come in the way. And uh, Joss was like, yeah, I'm just gonna write you out forever. Yeah. No. So more and more info, um, yeah, it sounds like Joss definitely started to believe he was like the center of the universe, and uh, you certainly get that feeling from some of the interviews he's done, where he literally feels like he can't do anything wrong. And honestly, I don't think the fans have helped as well, because for the love of God, give up Firefly. Look, I loved Firefly as much as the next guy, okay? Yes, masterful series. Yes, Fox F them over, but just... Give it a break, guys. It was like 20 years ago almost. You know, it, it's time to move past it. Maybe he's still living in that mentality where he's the greatest thing ever made in Hollywood. And, uh, Firefly. People just won't let it go.